Hi! Acne vulgar is a common condition which affects a million people in worldwide, especially teens and young adults. Let's talk today about acne, causes, treatment and how it appears. My name is Peter, I'm a dermatology specialist from the RPM Health Clinic and today we'll be talking about acne vulgaris. Acne starts in the hair follicle and the oil sebaceous glands. Hormonal changes, especially during the puberty, increase oil production. When this excess oil mixes with the dead skin cells on your face, it clogs the pores and creates an environment when the bacteria, especially Cutibacterium acnes, can thrive and which leads to inflammation and a breakout. Acne can appear as a blackheads, whiteheads, papules, pustules, nodules or cysts and it's often found to be on the face, chest, back or the shoulders. Inflammatory lesions like pustules and nodules can be really, really painful and may lead to the scarring if not treated properly and in time. So how do we actually treat acne? The aim of the treatment is to reduce the oil production and therefore minimize the inflammation, minimize clogged pores and reduce the bacteria on your skin. We can treat it topically or we can treat it as a systemically orally. Topical treatment includes good cleansing, benzoyl peroxide, maybe some topical retinoids as an adapalin or tretinoin and also maybe some azelaic acid for some people. If the acne is more likely to be hormonal, maybe some topical spirolactone. Then systemic treatment includes some antibiotics, maybe hormonal treatment with uh, contraceptive therapy and for the worst scenarios or worst case of the acne, we need to use the isotretinoin. Here in RPM Health Clinic we offer variety of the treatments. I can treat you for your early acne, help you to improve your skin appearance and teach you the good skin regime. Or when you already suffer with some moderate acne, I can treat you as a said with a hormonal treatment or antibiotics or topical retinoids. And if the topical retinoids are not good for you, we can create some compound medication, something which is going to be suitable especially for you. And if you suffer with a moderate or severe acne and you already have some acne scarring and we don't want them to progress in something worse, yes, we can start you know, isotretinoin under really good monitoring and you're going to be in the contact with me.